Holy crap! A writer's holy grail to analyzing the validity and reliability of a source. Let's break this acronym down. The C is for currency. When looking at the source, look at the publication date. Has it been published in the past few years? How have things changed since then? If the source was not published recently, is it still an important part of the conversation worth acknowledging? Not only should you look at the currency of the source, but the currency of the author sources. If she or he is writing about Facebook and loneliness and citing sources published in 2005, then the author is referring to an old version of Facebook that may not apply to today's users. So even though the source is recent, the author's sources are dated and irrelevant, which could be a big problem. R is for relevance. Is the source relevant to your inquiry or argument? Does the evidence have real bearing on the claim? Is it pertinent? Is it typical of a larger situation or condition? A is for authority. Is the author an authority on the topic? Is the source reliable? Does the evidence come from recognized experts and authoritative institutions? Now, to answer these questions require a bit more research. Do a quick Google search to see if that writer actually teaches at MIT or see if the writer's credentials lines up with the topic. So if I have a PhD in education, for example, am I really an authority to write a book about genetic engineering? The second A stands for accurate. Is the source accurate? Are the data presented in the source sufficient? Have they been gathered, interpreted, and reported responsibly? How do they compare with other data you have found? Not only are we looking at the source holistically, we're analyzing the writer's use of sources as well. The P is for purpose. What is the source trying to accomplish? For instance, is the source trying to persuade you to tax soda because of the nation's obesity crisis? Is the author trying to share a unique perspective or belief, like social media literacy is important to college students? Is the author trying to define or redefine popular terms, like sites like Facebook have redefined what it means to be a friend? Is the author trying to shed light on an issue that has been ignored or neglected, like everyone is focusing on whether Facebook is good or bad, instead we need to evaluate how it is being used to carry out good deeds and bad behaviors? Is the author trying to complicate an issue by raising difficult questions or being a devil's advocate? For instance, Romney was recently quoted saying that 47% of Americans perceived themselves as victims and felt entitled to government support. As a country, what are we obligated to? Are there things that we should feel entitled to, such as civil rights and basic liberties? Should certain groups feel entitled to government support? Is this any different from banks and the U.S. military who feel entitled to our tax dollars for their survival? Or maybe the author is trying to correct misconceptions about a topic, like the assumption that democratic freedom equals equality of the races. Knowing the currency, relevance, authority, and accuracy of a source is about critically evaluating the validity and reliability of sources. However, knowing the purpose of the source is the writer's tool for knowing how to use the source in his or her writing. Knowing the purpose is about using sources rhetorically for your own purpose and objectives as the writer. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos on rhetorical analysis and strategies for summarizing and synthesizing sources.